Hello Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is your Intuitively Awakened Starseed here with a message for the Collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, welcome. And thank you guys so, so much for stopping by. This is going to be a timeless message. It is a general reading and it is for all zodiac signs, you guys. So please remember to take only what resonates with you and leave the rest, okay? Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, thank you so, so much for all of your support, your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I appreciate you guys so, so much. I'm sending you love, light, gratitude, Palo Santos as well. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me on this journey of enlightenment and love. This is for entertainment purposes only, so you guys, if you know, you know always use your discernment. We're going to go ahead and hop in here um, and see what is the energy surrounding your connection as always. This is an intuitive love message, okay? So we're going to take a look and see what is the energy surrounding your connection, the energy surrounding you and your person at this time. What are the intentions going forward? Now, when I say your person, this can be... Um, whomever you're uh, in union with. It can also be someone that you're in no contact with or in separation from, you guys. So again, always take it, flip it, switch the roles, only take what applies and leave the rest. But you guys, let's go ahead and tap in here and see what is going on for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please always remember to take only what resonates with you, what does not please leave it. All energy is fluid, so it can be for your past, your present, your future. He, she, him, her. People, places, things. Archangel Michael, please protect us during this message, during this reading. Any dark negative energy, please return to sender. Channeling energy the greatest white light what is the message for the collective divine feminine divine masculine first you know the first card that i'm getting here i'm seeing extreme right something someone could have taken things to the extreme or someone could be taking extreme measures with regards to your connection as this is an intuitive love message now when i was meditating prior to this reading you guys i'm getting that someone is done running so it's like this that's the energy i'm getting someone is done running um there's a lot of feelings a lot of deep emotions that i was picking up on prior to this message and i'm seeing extreme so this could be someone this could be someone in union somewhere else taking extreme measures, pulling their energy back from someone, or taking extreme measures, coming back towards you, something like that. What else we got? Someone's very excited. So there is a lot of energy, okay? So it's like someone is, there's a definite shift in someone's energy. I feel like this is someone that was, could have been off and on, hot and cold with you in the past. This could be someone where, you know, you could be in no contact, you could be in separation from this person, but it could be someone that, you know, you didn't really know where you stood with this person. That could be the energy as well. You could have been in union with someone and, you know, you didn't truly know where you stood with this person, how they truly felt for you is what I'm getting, Divine Feminine. Yeah, so that could have given you pause where, you know, you may have just pulled back because you didn't know where you stood or you didn't feel like you, this person was all in the way that you were, is what I'm getting. Now, I am seeing Scorpio energy. I'm getting Scorpio energy here, and I'm also getting Gemini energy. So that's also to that um two different sides to this person is what I'm seeing here. Now, this extremism could be chaos, conflict. This person is experiencing some type of fallout because of the shift, okay? 
but I'm seeing something going to the extreme and I'm seeing the number eight. So um, August could be significant or the number eight, somebody could have a birthday on the eighth day. But I'm seeing here, there's a major shift. So it's like almost like there's a side being exposed to this person that people haven't seen before. And this could be a definite surprise to you, okay? Because I'm definitely getting the energy that this person was back and forth, right? Easily triggered, too, is the type of energy that I'm getting. Ah, very decisive. You see that? I'm seeing a decisions being made. Yeah, so definitely a change in this person's energy. I'm seeing the number three. So there could be a third party involved. Here, yeah. Somebody could have a uh, Gemini Mars as well. Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Please give us more for the collective, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. What else we got for the collective? Okay. Wait a minute. We getting a lot of energy here. Okay, so, oh. Okay, so Divine Feminine. I'm seeing protection here, very protective, and I'm getting orchestrated, right? Or like organization, very organized. This is someone that's going to be making a, a love offer to you, but I'm seeing they're very protective in the interim. So it's like during this distance, this time, I feel like you're at a distance from this person, a separation and no contact. During this time, Divine Feminine, this is someone that is... They're very protective of you. Something to do with protection. I feel like this is a protected connection. I'm seeing that here. But it's like they're working really hard. So it's like this person could be blocking something or someone from coming towards you. Aries energy on the board. They've made up their mind. So this was someone that was indecisive in the past. Yeah, there's somebody, and this is Capricorn energy. So this is someone putting in the work. This is somebody that's definitely putting in the work and they hold you at a very high regard because the one thing is with that Capricorn energy, Capricorn is a very hard worker and they like nice things, right? So that's what I'm getting, right? This person holds you at a very high regard, okay? Okay. And they're very protective of you. So cherish, right? This person cherishes you. And it may not have seemed that way when you were in contact or in connection with this person. But this person does cherish you, Divine Feminine. What else we got for the collective? And I'm seeing the number one and the number 10, right? So we have one and zero here. So this is something starting back at one. I'm getting beginning at one, starting at one, like something coming to an end, a new beginning. And I feel like this is this person becoming more decisive, being more present with you and the love that they have for you, your union. So they're done running from their feelings for you, right? I feel like this person is like, I feel like very moody, right? This was someone that was very moody in the past. Like mood swings back and forth is what I'm getting. There was a lot of back and forth. And it was like, I feel like this person was definitely um, felt as though you were going to abandon them or something to do with abandonment issues. And they were afraid, they were intimidated by your energy, Divine Feminine. But the way you love them, like, it's like they're, the attachment was made. They never felt the way that you loved them before, like that unconditional love, right? That healing, loving energy that you have, but also very empathetic, right? But I feel like this person was just all over the place. And it's because they have fallen for you is what I'm getting. So a lot of this energy is coming from this person feeling as though they were adjusting to falling in love is what I'm getting. 
this person was adjusting to these deep emotions that they were beginning to feel for you. They felt as though they were losing themselves. This person, and I'm seeing control, and that's what I just heard. It's like this person felt, they could have like maybe said to you like you're being controlling. They felt as though they were under some type of like spell or something. When they had fallen in love, these were emotions they had never felt before. And there was also a shift because this person was tapping into their higher self. So you being a divine feminine, you were guiding this fragmented masculine at that time to their higher self. So they were detaching from low vibrational energy. But the shift, I feel like they were, they had fallen for you. They were changing. There was a complete evolution happening. This person was spazzing, right, is what I'm getting. That's what I was hearing, like kind of like freaking out. It, it was like mood swings because it was like as soon as this person felt themselves becoming vulnerable, it was like they felt as though there was some type of spell or like their energy was being manipulated is what I'm getting. And it they, they were afraid and they would like, one minute it was good, and then the next minute, this person I'm getting would be like, just like a totally different person almost, right? But it was because they were, they were adjusting. They didn't even, this divine masculine didn't even understand, I'm getting, but they were running from it, right? This is where I'm getting, but divine feminine. This is someone that does get a lot of attention, this divine masculine, but you didn't chase, right? So it was like that no contact, that twin flame no contact. You realize this person had growth to do. There was a journey this person had to go on. Wow. Something to do with temptation, right? That's that energy that I'm picking up on. This is, there's some seductive energy here is what I'm getting that's hidden. This is what's going on behind the scenes. During this separation, no contact, and I'm getting going to the extremes, setting boundaries. So there's a karmic or a third party here that doesn't want to accept these boundaries with this divine masculine because there's definitely a shift here because this divine masculine was running from their emotions because they were afraid that they were losing themselves. They were feeling like they were losing control. That's why I was seeing control coming up. This divine masculine felt as though they were losing control. Oh, but they were actually ascending. So it was symptoms of ascension is what the Divine Masculine was feeling because they were aligned with their divine counterpart, kindred spirits. That's you, Divine Feminine. Please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Okay, so I'm seeing... There's this divine masculine, it's like they're optimistic, right? About rebuilding or actually building, building a future with you. Now, divine feminine, this could be someone that you guys may not have actually made it official. So I feel like things were getting close for some of you guys, not all of you guys, but Things were getting close to you making it official. But it's like as soon as you guys would start getting in the flow, as soon as you would get in the flow and things were getting close to making it official, it's something about this, you know, off and on, back and forth is what I'm getting. Hot and cold energy, mood swings, shifts with this divine masculine, right? And there was a fear there of losing themselves, but also not being... This divine masculine was afraid that they weren't enough to maintain this connection. 
they didn't feel as though they could maintain this. And it's like, almost like this divine masculine, the energy that I'm getting, they felt as though they would ultimately end up losing this connection with you or losing you. They wouldn't be enough, right? They've never been with someone like you. Now, again, this is someone that does get a lot of attention, but never this type of attention from someone like you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. So if I'm getting that like, I feel like you felt as though this person was like erratic or impulsive type of energy is what I'm getting. That Aries energy, that passion. And you felt as though you couldn't trust them. Right? Because it's like as soon as... And I feel like it was a degree of disappointment because you had fallen for this person as well. This is your divine counterpart, divine feminine. So I feel like every time things were on the upswing, this divine masculine would do something to cause a tower moment. And it was like peaks and valleys, peaks and valleys, right? But I feel like this was causing you pain, right? You're like, let me off this ride. Because it's like, what you going to do? Oh, that's when you detached. I'm seeing Aquarius energy here, right? It's. I just heard like, I don't know what you got going on. Like something's going on. You were picking up something going on behind the scenes. But I feel like what's going on, there is, there's other energies here. But this divine masculine was falling deeply for you. Had fallen, okay? But what you were picking up on was this divine masculine evolving and this divine masculine's emotions getting deeper. Now, I feel like this divine masculine, I keep picking up on this energy with these divine masculines. Something about that possessive energy. This divine masculine didn't want you to see because it's like they were trying to regulate their emotions. This Divine Masculine was trying to regulate their emotions. They didn't want to scare you off either. But it's like they wanted you... I'm just hearing like all mine. All mine. This Divine Masculine... See, I'm seeing with that Gemini energy. This Divine Masculine does have another side. Right? So they were all in... This divine masculine, they had fallen in love and they were running from it. And also it's like, this divine masculine can be extremely possessive. Yeah. And they didn't want to scare you off with that nature. Yeah, they have like, there's something, they didn't want you to see that, right? Jealous is what I'm getting jealous you could have had other masculine energies around you i feel like there was something that took place that it was like it was too difficult for this divine masculine to handle but it wasn't anything right but it you could have a male friend that comes around i don't want picking up on that right or you could work with somebody, or you have a rapport with someone of the opposite sex, right? And that was triggering this divine masculine as well. They didn't want you to see it. So they're like, they were evolving. There were so many emotions going on. And this divine masculine didn't want you to see, like there's another side, but they're done running. <laughs> they're done running. We got Aquarius energy showing up here. So for some of you guys, this divine masculine could have just ghosted. I feel like this divine masculine, we get mood swings, right? And you wouldn't know what was going on. This divine mask, because they didn't want you to know that possessive nature, right? 
Because it's like all of a sudden this divine masculine didn't want nobody around you. And what I mean by that is like, there's, I'm picking up on another energy here. So there's someone, or you could even have a friend that encourages you to hang out with people, you know, of the opposite sex or something like that. Ooh, this divine masculine, I'm getting, yeah, some controlling energy here, but I feel like you detach because this divine masculine, you didn't know where you stood and it seemed like they had something else going on. Now, they do get a lot of attention. I see that, right? And you get a lot of attention, okay? But this divine masculine is not used to being with somebody that gets the attention that they get too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But there's something, and you know, that could be that seductive energy that I'm picking up on, right? Because remember I was saying that like, it's like for some of you guys, this may not have been an official union. Every time you guys would get close, something would happen. There would be some chaos conflict. It may have felt as though this divine masculine was sabotaging the connection or self-sabotaging the connection, right? It's like, it's almost like for some of you guys, this divine masculine would like do things because they, they, they couldn't handle something or the, I'm getting the, the attention you get or somebody that's around you. Child, please take it how it resonates. Oh, see, creating drama. That's what I'm getting. Mm. Leo energy. Leo energy on the board. Okay. A lot of pride. A lot of pride here. There could be some ego at play as well. Uh-huh. Because you're different. You are different, right? This divine masculine sees that you are different. And they. it was like they, they have fallen in love with you. They have fall, They already fallen in love with you, but you're different. And they're trying to figure out how to navigate. That's why they were off and on, hot and cold, Divine Feminine. Because they couldn't figure out how to navigate this with you. Because they're in love with you, but they don't want you to see another side to them. But it's something about this energy that's around you, this, oof, Libra. I'm seeing Libra energy. That's why they were being so indecisive. And it's like this Divine Masculine would be at a distance, right? So it's like they'll be at a distance, heartbroken. They done broke their own heart, right? But they can't handle what's like the energy or the attention you're getting, but they don't want you to see that they're like controlling, but they're done running. I keep getting that. They're done running. See, look, what I say? Chariot card. I'm seeing new energy, a rebirth, a reunion here, okay? Heavy Gemini energy. We're going to go with heavy Gemini energy, you guys. I'm seeing flexibility. Swear. And I'm seeing Gemini sun. We're heavy Gemini energy. Look at this. Somebody's got Gemini in their chart. Someone's got Gemini in their chart. Or their person. Mm-hmm. This, this divine masculine learning flexibility, right? They're doing some inner work, okay? This divine masculine's gone over you. And I'm getting that you thought that it was the complete opposite. And again, you didn't make things official, but they was official. 
with this Divine Masculine, they was official. Trying to take the practical approach now. Mm-hmm. Trying to take the practical approach here. Heavy Capricorn energy. Heavy Capricorn energy here. Uh-huh. Somebody could be a Gemini Cancer cusp or a Cancer Gemini cusp. Somebody could also be an Aquarius Capricorn cusp. Or a Capricorn Aquarius cusp. That's the energy I'm seeing here right now, okay? But again, this divine masculine, they see you as something that is very rare, very precious. They cherish you. And I feel like you don't know this. This is somebody for somebody. You've been guided to this message. Child, please give us more. Mm-hmm. Mmm, what else we got? Please give us more. Ooh. Told y'all, eccentric. That eccentric Aquarius energy. Didn't I just say you're unique, you're rare, you're different? Uh-huh. And they cherish you. They cherish you. This divine masculine, you're like very precious to them. And I feel like this is something you definitely, you were questioning, like, you know, do they even care type of energy? This person definitely doesn't show their emotions. They don't wear their heart on their sleeve, but they see you as very unique and rare. I see that in this reading and we're going with heavy Aquarius energy. Mm-hmm. Ciao. Now, we got Gemini and we got Aquarius energy. Those are two air signs, okay? So, we got some communication coming here. Intelligence, right? I'm picking up on emotional intelligence. This divine masculine definitely doing some inner work here, right? Dealing with some core wounds, some core issues. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these cards. Wait a minute, y'all. Hang on. They're getting ready to assert themselves. So this is definitely an Aries energy here showing up. Okay. So I'm seeing here asserting themselves. That's an Aries sun. So we're getting heavy on the Aries energy as well. Oh. We got a Virgo moon. Somebody got some Virgo energy in the background as well, y'all. Please make sure you're checking your charts. Yeah. Wow, this is going to be... I feel like this is going to be a shock. This is going to surprise someone. Because again, this person's emotions were not fully... It's like one minute you thought that this person was all in, and then the next minute, their emotions were hidden. You see that? Yep. Their emotions were hidden. Very difficult to read. Pisces energy on the board. Okay, so we got Aquarius, we got Capricorn, and we got Pisces showing up here. Mm-hmm. Mm. There's some energy, though. There's another, I'm getting, like, some third party or karmic energy around this masculine. Trying to be seductive or something like that because I'm seeing here... And then with the extreme, right? So somebody's taking something to the extreme. Again, this is like this low vibrational pick me energy with this divine masculine. But I'm getting here, it's like extreme boundaries. This divine masculine's not playing, right? Like this divine masculine 
It's like somebody's trying to seize the moment because this divine masculine is no longer in contact with you, okay? But you're attached. So I seen detached, but I'm seeing y'all attached, okay? So there's been the soul activation. You guys are connected. There's an attachment already at the soul level, okay? So whomever, I'm getting like there's somebody that feels as though because you're in separation from this divine masculine, right? They, you know, that they're trying to seize the moment, but that's a futile effort is what I'm getting. What else we got? Somebody want to talk to you. That's what you don't know. This person wants to express, this person's loyal to you. And I feel like that in itself, wow. Because I feel like this is somebody that was non-committal in the past. Mm-hmm. There's loyalty and this is some, this person wants to tell you. You see that? Pisces moon. Heavy on the Pisces now. Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn energy showing up here, right? Yep. This person wants to reveal their true emotions to you. They want to make amends with you. Extending the olive branch. They want to make amends with you. This person sees you as a friend as well. This, can per this person... I feel like confided a lot in you or a lot to you. There could be something going on in this person's life where you hold a lot of secrets, right? This person definitely, yeah, there's definitely a bond here, okay? And they're escaping this past. There's the chariot. More Pisces energy. We definitely heavy on the Pisces energy. Wow, could be a Pisces Aquarius cusp and Aquarius Pisces cusp. Come on now. Oh, it's only you. It's only you, right? So I feel like there's somebody that is trying to make it difficult, these boundaries. There's somebody of feminine energy here, okay? There's somebody that does not want, they're like trying to block these boundaries, what else we got? Wow. This divine masculine, there's definitely an evolution, right? They've been working on themselves, right? See, that's that flip side, Gemini energy showing up again. So this could be a Gemini moon. This is what I'm getting, right? Like, or in that energy, that Gemini energy, that's what was hidden behind this person, and this is why they were acting hot and cold off and on because this person has another side to them. And I feel like they're working on becoming adaptable, right? Being in your energy because they're not used to somebody getting this much attention. This divine masculine is used to pick me's. They're the one to get all the attention. They're not used to somebody like you and you're rare. You're eccentric, right? So you're very different. And I'm getting that your light, it shines, it attracts so many people. Like, you know, uh, people like to talk to you. You may be someone that people just randomly come up and talk to. Very good energy is what I'm getting. Somebody is, I'm seeing revenge. With that Scorpio energy. And remember, I was picking up on that seductive energy. This is someone, whoever this third party is, the energy I'm getting is they feel as though they're in competition with you and they want to take revenge. And they're trying to like, I don't know, like set this divine masculine up. Or they're doing something just so they can say, look, you can't trust this divine masculine. Something, they're trying to 
create a scene, a stage, something like that. They're trying to stage something so you won't trust this divine masculine because this divine masculine wants you coming towards you. So this person's trying to change or distort your reality of how you see this divine masculine. Child. What else we got here? Look at this coming out here in this reading. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective. What? This is a messy karmic. Messy karmic. Oh, what else we got? Mm. Your energy has inspired this divine masculine to change. There is a shift going on with this divine masculine. And again, there's that Pisces energy. Heavy on the Pisces. Somebody's definitely got some Pisces in their chart. Whomever this is resonating with. I'm picking up somebody. You, your person. Hell, it could be the third party. Heavy Pisces energy. A lot has been hidden here. A lot has been hidden. That twin energy I'm picking up on. Somebody definitely has another side to them that they didn't want to show you. And that side was coming out because they were they have fallen in love with you. And that was triggering this other side, that twin, that twin energy that I'm getting that dichotomous type of there's Something that is like the polar opposite of what they see. That moon energy, what's hidden, right? What people don't see. It was coming out. Yeah, and I feel like it's very controlling type of possessive energy. They just wanted to keep you close. And it's like this divine masculine felt as though they were about to start like smothering. That smothering type of energy. They didn't want to chase you away. It's almost like this divine masculine couldn't love on you the way that they wanted to. Because they felt as though it would have chased you away. Ooh. I just heard a more balanced approach. This divine masculine is trying to take a more balanced approach. They had to go and like put... It's like they had to put their feelings on ice or something. That's why this hot and cold energy. And you could have noticed this with the divine masculine when someone in particular was around. Where there would be a shift while this person was around or there was a shift after this person was around, right? Right? Because there was someone that definitely, I feel like it triggered this. Uh, because this divine masculine, they felt as though they weren't enough. They were afraid that there was some insecurity there. Child. And they wanted to take authority over. See? There's that Taurus energy, the bull energy coming in. That's what I know. Very strong, protective is what I'm getting. Protective energy concerning this romantic connection with you. The way this divine masculine wants to love on you, I feel like it's going to trigger jealousy with other feminine energies too. It could around you, Divine Feminine. Or it could have already. Because I feel like there's other people that want to be in your position with this Divine Masculine or wanted to. There, who, there could be somebody that's happy that you're like in no contact with this Divine Masculine. Picking up on this energy. You guys coming together, Divine Feminine, is triggering demons in people. 
Oh. It is Taurus again. This union. Somebody could have picked up how protective and possessive this divine masculine was over you. Mm-hmm. And it made them jealous. Ooh. Y'all, look at all of this Taurus energy. There's the bull right there. Y'all. We got heavy Taurus energy showing up here now, right? And it's like heavy resistance, right? This divine masculine was fighting a lot of emotions, deep emotions. And I feel like initially this divine masculine thought there must be some type of spell work because they never felt like this about nobody before. Some type of hex, curse, spell work, something like that, right? Shoot, this divine masculine was heavy in their ego. Yeah. Prior to this connection, Leo energy. See, that's what this divine masculine, they didn't want to chase you away. Capricorn energy again. This divine masculine. They see you as very rare, precious. Some they cherish you. They cherish this connection that they made with you. They're grateful. Ooh. You were seeing an alter ego. Get ready, divine feminine. Get ready here. There's that Gemini energy. I said blood look. Bluffing, you were seeing an alter ego. You're about to see the other side of this person. <sighs> wow. Caught up. There's the web right there. Communication. Boundaries. And I feel like somebody else is seeing the other side. That's Gemini energy again. Somebody else is seeing the other side of this divine masculine because I'm getting that this person, they can't, they can't control this divine masculine. They can't manipulate them strong boundaries. That's why I'm getting there's something going on behind the scenes or trying to trap this see, throat chakra. This karmic third party don't want this coming out trying to trap, trying to corner this divine masculine, manipulating something behind the scenes, right? Because it's a wrap for everything. It's all about you, divine feminine. Let's go get some tarot. Wow. Yeah. Let's get some tarot here and see what's going on here. Mmm. Wow. Let me pull a few of these cards really quick and see what we get. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. It's a few more oracle cards here before we go to the tarot. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, please give us more for the collective. What's hidden here? What's hidden? Wish granted. What else we got? Mm-hmm. What else we got? divine match this is your person this is your person and i feel like now that's for some of you guys because some of you guys could have made it official but i feel like for someone here that's important that you didn't make it official right what else we got tell me i ain't tapped in two sides Dichotomy. Mm-hmm. Gemini energy. Delicate balance in between the two sides, right? Of this passion, these emotions that they were feeling. 
This Divine Masculine, I feel like, knew that they were going to lose you because the way they wanted the love on you, child. Please give us more for the collective, but I feel like it's still going to be different. You're going to notice um, a presence about this person when it comes to you. Yeah. What else we got? You're their destiny. I'm seeing love is blooming. The love blossomed with you guys, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's like the first time they felt this way is what I'm getting. Ooh. What else we got? Please give us more. Yeah. Baby steps. See, this Divine Masculine had to step away and take. I feel like they had to take some time. Yeah, that because that off and on hot and cold energy that you were picking up on, that was jealousy. Mm -hmm. That was that was like a mask, right? Masking for like jealousy. Yeah, this divine masculine had fallen hard for you. That's what I'm getting here. Mm. They want they slowing down. This divine masculine said they had to slow down. They had to take a break, bump their brakes. Starting a new cycle here. Okay. This divine masculine wants a future with you. Long term harmony. What else we got? Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective divine feminine, divine masculine. Thank you. Oh. Told you. Tell me I ain't tapped in. Off and on, back and forth, hot and cold. Yup. And I'm seeing here, missing you a great deal. The Sublime Masculine is very nostalgic for you, missing you, okay? Looking at your picture, type of energy, you unlocked something in the Sublime Masculine. Their happiness is what I'm getting. You got the key to their heart. Okay. This is your person, kindred spirits, right? Patience. Spirit saying, be patient with this person. This is your person. They're evolving. There's growth here. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that off and on energy, right? That hot and cold energy, that was... It wasn't what you thought. It wasn't what you thought. I feel like this is pretty specific for someone, but they're done running from these emotions, right? Yeah. And new adventures are ahead for you guys. That's what I'm getting, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. Something to do with music. This person could be listening to songs during this separation that remind you or remind them of you, Divine Feminine, or vice versa, okay? <laughs> I told y'all, very protected. This is a protected connection, right? And there it is, right here. So they were hiding these emotions, you see that? They were hiding their emotions, but this is your person, and I'm getting just, Spirit saying, be patient with them. Be patient with them, Divine Feminine. Whomever this is resonating with, yeah. Being patient with this person. Mm. Now, y'all, let's go to the tarot. Y'all, this is something else. Hidden, hiding these emotions. And I feel like you thought that this Divine Masculine just wasn't... They weren't, the feelings weren't the same, or you felt as though they had something else going on, you know? And I, for some of you guys, this is something very strong emotions, but you hadn't made it official for some of you guys. Yeah, this is your person. 
This is your person, y'all. Let's get some tarot here. Mm-hmm. Spirit, please give us more for the collective, divine feminine, divine masculine. Please give us more for the collective. What's ahead for this connection? Divine feminine, divine masculine. What is it that we're not seeing? What else do we need to see? Please give us more. Mm-hmm. What's ahead? This person's burden. I can tell you that. Ten of Wands. Okay. Thank you. What else we got? Breaking no contact and rebuilding. Breaking no contact and rebuilding this connection with you. They're burdened, done running. Okay. They're done running. This this person, mm-mm. They about to be chasing you, Divine Feminine. Yeah. Because these are very strong emotions that this person's been hiding. I feel like this is something you may not be aware of. You're definitely not aware of for some of you guys, right? Because mm. it was like, it's almost like this person, you would be locked in and then they would take it back type of energy, right? What else we got? Mm-hmm. This person, I feel like you're going to receive an apology, but I feel like you're going to get clarity, okay? Because I feel like this person was definitely foolish, but there, there was a purpose, right? Definitely a purpose behind this. I feel like you locked into this person's feelings, see? Telepathic communication, you're mirroring one another during this separation or this no contact, but they coming back. They coming back. Look, confirmation, truth be told here. Libra energy. Mm-hmm. What else we got? This part, I told you, in love with you. This person loves you, Divine Feminine. And they was a whole mess. I feel like people that were close to this Divine Masculine were like, what's going on with you? type of energy, right? Yeah. Look at this. And see, they had to go and cool off. That's what I'm getting, right? Because I'm getting Page of Cups, but I'm also getting the King of Cups. So deep emotions, right? Child, moving slow, coming towards you. Mm-hmm. They said they had to slow down. Wow. What else we got? They had to slow this down. They had to slow this train down, y'all. Mm-hmm. Look. It's a divine connection. You see that? A divine connection. And this person is deeply in love with you. Look at that. I can't make this up. But they had some issues they had to work through. And I feel like you're going to pick up on this person's energy. But Spirit's saying, be patient. This is your person. And Divine Feminine, it's like, you know, you're on your mission here to enlighten, you know, to guide this person. Spirit's saying, be patient with them. Be patient. Yep. Oh, what else we got? A lot was hidden with this person. Mm-hmm. A lot was hidden. And look, I can What did I tell y'all? Pisces energy, Capricorn energy right here. The possessive controlling energy, right? That was triggered in this person. That's what was triggered in this person. You see that? That possessive controlling energy. That's what they were hiding. So that was the mood swings, the off and on, back and forth. Whomever this is resonating with, there it is right there. Capricorn and Pisces energy. That's what was hidden. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you would be in a situation or like, you know, being around this person and all of a sudden they would catch attitudes, right? Or, you know, they would walk away or ghost you type of energy, right? And it's like, well, where did you go? What's wrong? And it's like, or, oh, I need to take a walk type of energy. 
And it's because this person was trying to adjust to these emotions because all of a sudden, they never felt this before, but all of a sudden, this divine masculine wants you all to they self. They, yeah, this is somebody that was non-committal to now somebody, you know, trying to acclimate with these emotions that they're feeling. Mm. Wow, this has not been easy. I'm seeing here deep despair being separated from you. <laughs> queen of Cups trying to come in between this, right? This Queen of Cups wants to make sure that the Queen of Swords getting the third party wants to come and make sure that this Queen of Swords, make sure you keep your back turned to this Divine Masculine. That's the energy I'm picking up on here with this third party. I'm seeing the Five of Cups. So see, the Five of Cups, this Divine Masculine is hurt because they're separated from you or in no contact. But I'm getting there's a shift happening with that, right? And again, free will is at play. I always say that. Only take what resonates and leave the rest. But I'm getting here this Five of Cups with this third party. They're in deep despair. But the Queen of Swords is the next card. So I'm getting in the way the back is turned. They want to make sure that you stay in no contact with this Divine Masculine. They can't control this Divine Masculine. But they're trying to control how you see this Divine Masculine. But look at the next card. Happily Ever After. Blocking what? Blocking what? With the Queen of Pentacles. They ain't blocking this connection. Uh-uh. Ooh, magician card. Look at that. So somebody's out in the cold trying to do a little bit of magic, a little bit of manipulation. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. This karmic's trying to manipulate something behind the scenes here. Trying to prevent you guys from coming back into balance. You see that? But I'm seeing judgment. The phoenix is rising from the ashes, right? Yes. But this person trying to create some chaos and conflict, right? Look at that. Five of Wands. That third party is going to be trying to create some chaos and conflict. Something to do with some rumors. Mm-hmm. Something to do with some rumors. trying to create anxiety surrounding this connection. But look, that's the next card, the sun card, right? So this is a destined connection. So there's nothing blocking this connection, right? At least this, this third party can't block this connection. But what I'm getting is this divine masculine, they were blocking this connection. This divine masculine definitely had to, I'm getting step out, do the inner work, right? Step into their higher self and be able to see themselves because it's like they were in their own way. This divine masculine had to step back from this connection to step out of their own way is what I'm getting. But they take an action. Yep. They take an action. Mm-hmm. What else we got? Y'all. The wands is showing up. This person is missing you. Mm-hmm. But they didn't want to end up losing you. They knew the emotions that they started feeling that was being triggered by falling in love with you. Child, this person had to step aside of themselves, right? Take a look at themselves. Spirit, please give us more for the collective. What's ahead? What's the outcome here? Please give us more for the collective. What's ahead? Anticipate. Look at that. I'm seeing anticipate. You see that? Proposal. There's a love offer coming. Long term too is what I'm seeing. Look at this. You could have been in hermit mode. Could have been isolated, Divine Feminine. Look, a romantic connection is on the way. 
Mm-hmm. Sure is. What else we got? I'm saying, I'm seeing get some snacks. And I know you like, what's she talking about? Get some snacks. I'm getting, because you about to be spending some alone time. That's what I just seen here. Alone time, right? A romantic getaway type of energy. I'm seeing here, finding the joy in simple things with each other. Because the doorway has opened. The portal has opened. You see that? I just heard, get, I know you like, what's she talking about? Get some snacks. Yeah. Because y'all going to be um, spending some alone time together. But you're on the right path. Yup. Karmic mad. Karmic mad. Karmic third party mad trying to block this connection. Divine feminine, make sure you're careful of the energy, um, the information. Also energy that you're taking in surrounding your person, right? Any information, rumors, things like that. Be careful with that because I'm seeing that you guys are definitely being magnetically brought back together. Look at this. I just seen it. Look, illusions. Be aware of illusions, things that are, this karmic's conjuring up things, right? I'm getting conjuring up lies, conjuring up um, illusions, things like that because they can't stop this divine masculine. I'm getting strong boundaries have been put in place from this divine masculine with this karmic third party because this divine masculine recognizes what they're feeling. This is not something that is just a fleeting feeling, right? They know that this is like a forever type of emotion and they realize you're their divine counterpart and they've come in contact with you here in this lifetime. They're not releasing this. They're not letting this go. Okay, but they wanted, they needed to take a break because they didn't want to end up losing it or fumbling it forever in this lifetime, right? Yes. And I'm seeing here a destined connection. This is destiny. And I feel like this divine masculine is going to be apologizing to you for the way that they handle things. But I feel like it's going to make sense. But again, be careful of... Any rumors, anything that you're hearing that's placing the Sabai Masculine in a negative light? Yeah, but that back and forth is over. I'm getting, look, they done running, but they about to be chasing you, Divine Feminine. Hmm, get ready. Let's get one more card here. Spirit, please give us one more for the collective. Yeah. Wow. Embrace loves imperfections, patience. Y'all, I'm leaving this reading here. Thank you guys so, so much for stopping by as always. I will see you guys for your next reading. Until next time, guys, take care. Love ya. Bye.